King of Frat Parties, Drunken Fist Fights, Beer Pong, and uh, oh yeah, Rebirth, Madness, with a crazy chthonic aspect left of, from the Mycenaean era. Dionysus is an interesting, complicated, and absolutely bonkers god that ticks all the boxes of coolest guy ever. This is the start of a series on the deities of Greek mythology, spending a couple videos on each one and various myths and epitaphs, starting with our great old party boy Dionysus. If you want to hear more about Dionysus and the other Greek deities, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to catch the latest video. Now grab a bottle of wine, your favorite party jam, and let's get into it. Depending on your mythos, Dionysus was the son of a couple different people. His mother is typically Persephone or in some cases Demeter in the older Orphic versions of the myth, later retellings either having him reborn or born straight from a mortal woman of Thebes named Seleme. His father is always Zeus, and I haven't seen a version of this myth that says otherwise, but let me know if I might have missed something. In the Orphic versions of the myth, which are a little hard to parse through, it seems like Zeus begot Dionysus through Persephone, making him a bit more of a chthonic aspect of Zeus, and the Orthic loved their chthonic deities. Anyways, at this time, he was actually called Zagreus, who was a complicated figure in and of himself. Zagreus was meant to follow Zeus and one day rule the gods. Hera, seeing this, rounded up the titans and tore young Zagreus apart, killing him. Eventually, the god would be reborn of Seleme, which is how he got his rebirth aspect. In the most recent version we have of the myth, the Hellenistic version, Zeus has an affair with Salame, as he so often does with mortals, and just as often ends up getting them killed. Hera, in her similar fashion, catches wind and instead of killing them outright, gains Salame's trust under the disguise of an older woman. She convinces Salame that if her boyfriend is really the Zeus as he claims to be, he should show her his true form. Salame begs this of the fallible god, and he obliges for some crazy reason. Upon seeing him, Salame disperses into a pile of ash. Left in the remains of her body is a premature baby, Zeus's child, what would eventually become the future Dionysus. Zeus takes his illegitimate son and sews him into a sack on his thigh to allow him to grow, making him the second child that Zeus has uh, given birth to after Athena, ironically also from a mother that Zeus kinda killed on purpose. Anyways, once baby Dionysus is born, he's taken away from Olympus to keep him safe from Hera. A number of figures fill this role as well, but the most common of the transporters is Hermes. Hermes takes baby Dionysus to be raised by the nymphs, which it's usually considered the source for his hedonistic hobbies later on in life. Over the years, Dionysus is carted to and fro from several locations and people, even at one point being raised as a girl to hide him from Hera, but that's another myth I'd be interested in getting into at some point. From what I understand, he eventually ends up with the Titan Rhea, mother to several of the Olympic gods and goddesses. Dionysus is a weird, mysterious figure with so many iterations and conflicting mythos, it's hard to put it into something easily read. It's believed by some that Dionysus could have been a foreign god brought into the pantheon, or even an actual person whose true identity was forgotten over time and deified. Who's to say? But there's a lot more about Dionysus we can talk about in future videos, and maybe as I do more research I might be able to clarify something I missed. Comment down below a piece of myth or history you want to hear about. I'll see you all in the next one, and stay tuned.